Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this video, we will talk about uh, the Wake on LAN feature that is available on SCCM. So if I talk about Wake on LAN, it's a feature that enable you to uh, wake up a machine that is in a sleep mode or that is shut down, but the Ethernet card is active. Let's take an example through a scenario that you wanted to deploy an application when the users are out of office. Now. You deploy that application, but however, on that particular floor, every, I mean, on, on that particular floor, most of the machines are logged off or they are uh, shut down or they are in sleep mode. In that scenario, the packet will only get, or the application will only get deployed on the machine where we have the, where the machine is active. Now suppose you have deployed the application on 100 device, out of 100 only 10 was active suppose. So now the ratio is 10% only. However, when we have, now we have this feature wake on LAN from uh, starting from version 18.10 in SCCM. So now what we can do, we can send the packet request uh, that is called as magic packet that allows that interact with the MAC address and SMB GUID and it allows to switch on or uh, you know make that machine awake from this packet message from the packet mess uh, from this magic packet now there are two kind of uh, of request that we can do it that this magic packet sends one is unicast and second is broad broadcast so now unicast is one to one uh, packet, one to one machine. I mean, one packet will be sent to one machine. This call is unicast. Another one is broadcast. Broadcast is sent at a subnet level. So entire subnet, it will send the packet to the magic packet to the entire segment and then it will be, then your machine will get out. And in this scenario, your uh, network team allow the I mean there will be a route from a Cisco router and uh, in what I have seen in most of the environment that uh, this broadcast is usually uh, blocked by the networking team so anyhow it is being used by the uh, most of them use unicast only that is one to one mapping that we called about so now there are some prerequisites also that uh, required to enable it that it should have its support uh, 8021 network authentication that is called the advanced authentication on your hardware and your hardware has that uh, high configuration depending uh, high, uh, your network adapter has a high configuration and authentication method that it have so D uh, second is uh, DHCP lease duration cannot be sent to in infinity and and these are some basic prerequisite that uh, are required to do it now also a security rule permission is also required that uh, notification resource under console uh, notification resource under collections category uh, what I mean for uh, from it is uh, suppose I click on this one and this is the notification this should be allowed over here you will find the wake online as of now it is disabled in our environment so we will try to enable it so this is the simple one uh, this is a simple method to enable it so without wasting any time let's jump into the console we are already already on the console so we will jump into the administrator and uh, then you have to go to site under site okay uh, we'll click on site then properties under property you will find wake on LAN you just need to enable it we'll use the unicast there is another method of sub dedicated broadcast or uh, using client notification channel we can use any of them let's use unicast uh, or any that is feasible for you guys so yes use client notification channel apply and before we click OK uh, let me click on advance and let me know you so now uh, this transmission transmission will be happen it will try three times with the delay of one minute uh, this is the transmission maximum wait time and uh, these are some threshold wall values if you want to change them you can do it otherwise it is enabled apart from this uh, 
we need a port also we will go on properties and check that UDP port is enabled we will go on port UDP port is enabled that's fine for us and let's go on so we have this GDW1 machine that is running as of now let's turn on this machine turn off this machine I will turn off this machine and will send the packet from SCCM let me find out the IP address if I click over here IP address okay let's find the IP address uh, so IP address is 10.0.0.24 let's try to ping it PING 10.0.0.254 I guess yes it's pinging let's do one thing and let's shut down this machine turn off let's go back and you will find that it has started sending the uh, we start getting the RT RTO all right let's refresh it also so it is within one minute it will go active okay it started sending RTO okay destination host unreachable let's right click on it and send a notification wake on LAN so one out of one resource is selected and it is sent to RTO let's wait for some time and see whether this machine got turn on or not in some time So it's been a while uh, let me try if I can refresh it and resend the request I'm not sure whether it has sent the package or not it was sent successfully but it's look like it's oh oh okay it's nice it started sending the reply let's try to connect it because we have last time enabled the our remote desktop control yeah we can connect to the machine so this was a very simple lab how we can enable the wake on LAN on SCCM thank you so much for watching this video if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe thank you so much